Therefore, integration with Microsoft Teams. Once your system administrator has prepared the tenant, you can install the Therefore app in Teams. Click the three dots and type Therefore. Then select Add to add the Therefore connector for Microsoft Teams. Next, enter the name of your tenant. This is the first part of the connection URL. Select Authorize and then enter your username and password and select Sign In. Then select Grant to grant permissions to allow Therefore to communicate with Teams. Now the Therefore integration with Microsoft Teams is ready to use. A few handy commands allow you to change or refresh settings. Simply type Help to get started. The commands are Connect, Subscribe, Unsubscribe, Set View, and Get Status. If we type Subscribe, we can check the subscription status, and if we want to stop receiving notifications, we type Unsubscribe. It's also worth noting that you can change the viewing settings by default or simply view the document. Now it's time to start processing Therefore workflows in Teams. To get started, let's start the workflow. We start the workflow for the holiday request. You can see that as soon as the workflow is assigned to us, we'll get a chat message in Teams telling us that we have a new workflow. When I open the message, I can view the document, view all the index data associated with the document. If I click View Document, the document will open in the Therefore Viewer. I can then process it directly in the Therefore Viewer as normal. And the Teams chat will be updated to show the task has been processed in Therefore. I can then open the document again from Teams and see that it was processed. You'll notice that no more workflow tasks are assigned to me. And if I open the workflow history, you'll see that the workflow has ended. Now I'll show you what it's like to process the workflow task directly in Teams. This time I'll initiate the workflow from the Therefore Classic Web Client. As soon as the workflow is started, I'll get a chat from Teams. I'll open it. Once again, I can view the document and select to approve or reject the holiday request. I can also add additional information for other users. In this case, no replacement is available for Julia Bell, so I'll reject her vacation request. I can then view the document in the web client. And that's it. You can see it's really fun and easy to use the new Teams connector.